Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your editing user interface in Filmora 11. Okay, so I think this tutorial is helpful for you. For those of you who are editing video on a small screen laptop uh, or stuff like that, because sometimes your preview window is, is very small and you want to make it a little bit bigger so that you can see your video better. Okay, so it is very simple. Uh, let's go to my computer screen. All right, so now I'm on my computer screen and let's create a new project. So whenever you click here, uh, create a new project, you will be redirected to the default user interface in Filmora, right? And I have a small screen here with a preview window. And down here, I have a timeline. And uh, at, this, uh, at this area is the folder or other or all the important folder of Filmora 11. For example, let's click stock media. I'm going to use one one video right here. So for example, this one, the 4K video. So I'm going to drag and drop it onto the timeline. And now, uh, as you can see that I'm editing video on a big screen. Uh, so my preview window is very big like this. But if you're editing on a small screen laptop, you can just resize it, resize this uh, preview window to make it bigger or smaller. For example, if I want to increase the size of the preview window, I can move my mouse to this area. So this is the line that we uh, for us to to adjust the size of the preview window. We can click here and then drag it to the left to extend the preview window like this. Okay, so it's bigger, right? And we can even move move the tab timeline down to make the preview window a little bit bigger. Uh, we can just put our mouse here uh, at this line and click and then drag it down to this side yes okay so it is very big now right and now we can preview the video better like this nice right so this is how to resize your review window uh, but being mentioned that when you uh, make the review window bigger uh, then the the area here will be smaller okay so uh, maybe you should just return it to normal like this and then click here to make it like this Okay, so that is about the preview window and about the timeline. You have multiple track on the timeline and you have an option to uh, to make the time, uh, the track uh, smaller also. All you need to do is to right click at the beginning of the timeline and then you have an option to adjust the track high here so you can select it and then uh, make it small uh, like this or you can just uh, change it to bigger. Okay, so bigger it will be like this. And added to that, you have an option to manually change the size of the track also. You can click here, you know, click here at the edge of the track and then uh, move down to make it smaller, right? And you can do the same with the audio track. Alright, so that is about the timeline. And here uh, at the important folder area, you also have a button to hide, to hide the subfolder tree or to unhide it. Uh, this is the, the button. For example, you can click here to hide all the subfolder and you can click this button to show it. Okay, and finally, you have an option to change the size of the thumbnail here. Also, when you select any subfolder here, you have all the uh, all the media inside. For example, let's change it to effect. Uh, so this is the, the effect folder and we have all the subfolder right here and you, we have all the effect at this area. But you have an option to increase or reduce the thumbnail. Uh, at this one, uh, this is a button for you. So you can click here and, uh, and select view and then you can change it to medium thumbnail view or maybe you can change it to last thumbnail view. But normally it would be medium. Okay, so by default it will be medium thumbnail uh, view like this. And if you want to see more effect in this area, you can just click here at the view option and then change it to small thumbnail view. Okay, so that you can see more effect here and it's, it is easier for you to select the effect and drag and drop it to the timeline. Okay, so whenever you change, change the user interface like this, if you want to reset it to default, you can just close the project and open a new project and your user interface will become default. Okay, for example, I can just uh, click here at the file folder and then uh, return to the startup window. Okay, and if you want to save this change and I think, okay, yes, I can change, uh, save it. This one example, 
example one for example and then i'm going to click save okay so this is the start page and if i create a new project now it will be the default user interface and uh, okay it, it, there's nothing changed right here for example i can click here new project and we can see that we have a small preview window here and we have a big timeline here and also the important folder right here okay so that is how to customize the user interface uh, when editing video in Filmora 11. i hope this tutorial is helpful for you if you have any more questions just let me know in the comment section below thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye bye